everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how i texture my product in substance painter i will be using a simple model of a can as an example but the same technique can be applied to any object so let's get started so guys uh, here is the product i am currently using this is a simple can model i created this inside blender this is not a modeling or a uh, uv unwrapping tutorial but let me show you the uv's of this product I already unwrapped this product and everything is uh, ready to export. So let's export this product and open Adobe Substance Painter. Okay guys, after opening uh, Substance Painter, uh, maybe the UI looks different to you because I rearranged everything, the properties, texture setting and uh, the layer. Now let's import our model here. Go to the file, uh, click on Neo. Uh, you can also uh, press Ctrl N for Neo. Uh, this is a shortcut key if you want. Uh, first of all uh, there is a template i chose a blender uh, there are so many templates you can choose whatever you want but uh, because i am using blender so this template uh, is okay for it uh, you can also choose asmr pbr metallic roughness this uh, also work the same but uh, i am okay with blender in the file section, uh, you can select uh, your file, obj or fbx, whatever you have. Uh, you can click on this select and select your model. This work and okay we select our uh, model in the resolution in the document resolution i choose 4k and in the normal format there are two options direct as and opengl i choose opengl because blender work on opengl format so there are so many other uh, setting like uh, uv tiling flow i will not uh, check this uh, for now import cameras i do not need auto unwrapping i also don't want because we already unwrapped inside blender and import back map there are no need for this setting so just click ok and the model will be imported you can also split the screen uh, into as uh, i did uh, from here uh, 3d 2d uh, 3d only 2d only i choose a 3d and 2d only because i want to see my uv's as well on the same time so before we begin the process of texturing, uh, let's back the texture first. Uh, go to the texture set uh, settings and uh, click on back mesh maps. Okay guys, after opening this uh, backing settings, I will keep the same setting as it is because I do not have a high poly model right now. So I will keep the same as a high poly. In the output settings, I choose again 4K because I want my uh, texture settings uh, uh, the, like the output texture will be 4K and in the norm in the common settings i keep the same setting i will uncheck the ambient occlusion because i do not need this uh, right now so uh, without uh, any uh, changes let's click on the back selected texture and let it back Now return to painting mode and uh, start uh, the process of texturing. First of all, I will create uh, three groups for the bottom part and the middle part where our uh, graphics will be and the top part. So this will be the bottom. Another group I will create middle and uh, I will create another uh, folder like uh, it will be the top. Uh, I will give them uh, a black mask to everyone because I, I give them a black mask for the bottom part we will select the bottom of the area you can select it from uh, this toolbar like uh, this option uh, polygon fill there are so many options to fill I will choose UV because I already separated this area using UVs so I choose this and now if I can show you in uh, mask mode this area is separated from the other again in the middle part we will choose the middle area and now uh, this area is assigned to this folder and in the top part again we will choose the top but in the top there are so many objects like this one and the can itself so we will select each part now this is okay 
now this is the top part and this is the middle part and this is the bottom part i already spread it now again go to the material mode badges simply pressing uh, pressing m you know, from your keyboard and uh, i will change the view uh, this is a uh, perspective i will choose orthographic view uh, you can just simply use shortcut f5 or f6 or you can change the settings from here now in the bottom part i will add a fill layer to it and in the properties uh, you can choose a fill height i will keep the color and roughness only for now uh, you can give it a color uh, if you can see uh, we are in this uh, bottom folder and uh, i will name it base let me give it a color something like this this is okay and uh, we will check the metallic also and we'll make the metallic to one and the roughness will be around uh, for the details i will add another fill layer and uh, i will select the roughness and in the roughness tab i will choose a rough cast uh, texture you can see there are two rough call this and this i will choose this one you can see this looks a uh, bad this looks uh, uh weird right now uh, we will name it first roughness and uh, we will add a mask to it and a fill layer uh, from this uh, filter layers a fill layer to uh, sorry uh, and a fill layer to control the opacity and the value of this uh, map if i can show one this will be the same and if i go down below to the black areas this will reduce the amount of the roughness you can see it here i just uh, want to give it a value between 0 0.1 to 0 0.12 so uh, 0 0.1 is uh, this uh, region looks okay but uh, okay let's give it 0 0.25 maybe uh, this is too much 0 0.18 uh, this looks okay 0 0.18 is much or better now we'll duplicate the same uh, layer um, name it height and i will uh, remove the roughness and uh, give it a height the same uh, rough cast metal and uh, i will reduce the values to 0 0.025 no, this too much 0 0.0025 yeah you can see these details right here now the bottom part is almost ready you can see uh, we will copy the same settings and the same files uh, to the top part and paste it there if i can show you now uh, here you can see the details but uh, i want to change my roughness uh, to something uh, like uh, brush you can choose uh, many maps there are so many uh, I think uh, this one is okay. This one looks good. The texture uh, size is uh, too big. We will make it small by adding a tiling value to 5 or maybe 4. No, the, no. actually, 5 is good. 5 is okay. And we'll increase the value of roughness a little bit. Uh, this texture looks weird let's change the texture to something like uh, grunge or maybe yes grunge this one now this looks good and we will increase the height value to something around point zero zero four For the graphics area, uh, I will create another fill layer and the color, the color I will give it simply a red color or uh, something like this, red maybe, yes. And for this part, actually I want to select these parts as well, uh, just, uh, uh, just uh, go to the again in the masking properties select the polygon fill and, uh, and uh, select the UVs and press these areas to fill this okay now these are filled 
okay again by pressing M to the material preview you can see again I will copy the same uh, roughness map and paste it inside the middle part right here you can see there are now a little grunges to it these are not visible actually but I will increase the value of the fill by 0.4 maybe yeah now this looks visible you can see these uh, details uh, right here this is uh, so simple texturing there is nothing uh, complex uh, i think we almost uh, done our texturing part and now we will export this uh, texture and and import inside blender so if uh, you are done with the texturing part you can just simply go to the file export and you can see this simple setting there are nothing complex so just by uh, clicking your uh, can object and uh, here you can see these settings and these uh, uh, maps i will uncheck the extra map because we only need a color map normal map uh, and a metallic map and roughness map and the global setting we need the texture uh, we need to change the texture size to uh, 4k uh, we keep the png 8 bit blender format and here you can uh, you can select the uh, what uh, the location where you want to export these files now the texture are export successfully so let's open uh, blender and import the same texture and apply to our model okay uh, we are here again in blender uh, if i can show you you can see all the texture are imported inside blender and you can see the texture details uh, and everything you can actually place your graphics here because i do not have any label just this was uh, showing you how i texture my models and in the render preview you can see the details so this is the basic and short process uh, i follow to texture my models and uh, my products inside substance painter thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video